Am I the asshole for ignoring my selfish neighbor when my baby cries? I am the father of a one-year-old toddler. Recently, she started teething, as her molars have started to come in. First, it was the top ones for about a week, then we had a week's break, and now the bottom ones are coming in. It's clearly causing my daughter a lot of pain, especially at night. Before she was a good sleeper, but now it's been rough. She's been waking up around 1 a.m. and then 3 a.m. daily, screaming with her little fingers in her mouth. My wife and I have tried comforting her, bringing her in our bed she sleeps in our room anyway and her crib is next to our bed, but normally she likes to sleep cuddled up when she's uncomfortable. We've even given her baby Motrine to help with the pain but she still screams for about 10-20 minutes each time until we are able to settle her. It's shrill and it sucks, but there's not much we can do beyond what we are already doing. We live on the ground floor of a new condo building. It's made of heavy concrete and decently soundproofed, but not perfect. Above us lives a single woman in her late 20s early 30s. This is an expensive part of town in a new building, so we can assume she's decently moneyed. She also keeps her balcony door open all day and night that faces into our courtyard. She has been punishing us during the day by blasting loud music directly into our unit by putting a stereo next to her balcony. We are on the ground floor and have a fully enclosed courtyard so it vibrates around. She's got great music taste, and my daughter will dance to it all day long. So while my wife hates her intention, I think it's worked out just fine. Until now. Last night she came barging down at 3 a.m. and rang our bell four times while we were trying to settle our daughter. Motrine works for about eight hours, so by 3 a.m. we have to give her another dose and wait through the cries, cradling her for 15-20 minutes for it to kick in again. My wife a strong-tempered petite woman, amplified by her first year of motherhood wanted to go fight her then and there, but I said let's just concentrate on settling the baby and ignore her. I also didn't want to make the baby any more upset than she already was. So yay. I just let her fume outside my door at 3 a.m. Am I the asshole? Update I delivered a small care package to her door with a long letter and a bottle of wine and chocolates. She was not home so I put it next to the door. We are only here for a couple months temperental until we finish construction but I'd rather offer an olive branch than see all the pettiness continue. Yes, it sucks to be woken up. Yes, it's a shared building. Yes. People throw parties here until 3 a.m. on the weekends. Yes, babies cry and we try our best. For those who live in very big cities mine has 22 million this is what you experience. I'm listening to loud mariachi music from the neighbor across the way right now. You're the asshole for or daddy does comment. Missed the daddy comment. But you sound like a dick if you posted it then sneakily deleted it because it made you look bad. You're the asshole. The or daddy does bit that you conveniently edited out, oh my. So multiple weeks worth of a screaming toddler at 3 a.m. and you think your neighbor is an A.H. because she rang your doorbell at 3 a.m., right? You're the asshole and please do something about pain management for that poor kid. Hey everyone stop giving unsolicited medical advice that directly goes against what the ops doctor has said to do. That's not what anyone was here for. Pro tip. Babies will drink in their sleep. You can redose her with Tylenol or Motrine while she sleeps without waking her. It's a reflex babies have. Source former pets nurse. You're the asshole. Reverse the situation, you don't have a baby and hers wakes you up twice a night screaming. How long could you put up with it? Why aren't you buying soundproofing things? There are soundproofing curtains and panels you can use. You're the asshole it's 3 a.m. I wouldn't wanna hear your fucking kid screaming either. You're the asshole. Your baby should not become other people's problems. Please don't take any medical advice given on this post and go talk to a doctor. You're the asshole and after seeing you delete that daddy's money comment it makes me question how reliable you are to tell the full and 100 true story of what's going on here. 
You're the asshole if the medicine works for 8 hours maybe try giving it to your child in a reasonable hour so she's not screaming at 3 a.m. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Not the asshole. If you want complete silence, don't live in a shared building. This thread is full of people who don't have kids or want to over-medicate kids. Didn't get past the sleeping bit please 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 don't go sleep with your one year old, especially snuggled up. It's incredibly high risk for SIDS and other very devastating outcomes suffocation, near miss suffocation etc. When I read I assume she's moneyed. That's all I needed to know. SH, the way you talk about your neighbor makes you sound like a prick and you are almost using your daughter's pain as a weapon. You're the asshole. The kid is waking up at 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. screaming yet you're not preemptively dosing? And every 8 hours doesn't explain the second wake up then. You absolutely can adjust your daughter's pain medication you just don't want to out of spite perhaps? Letting her fume outside the door was extremely childish imho. You're the asshole here 100. Your parents now step up and grow up. You're the asshole for editing your post without marking it to try and make yourself look better. You're the asshole. As a parent to two kids, you need to change the time you give kiddo meds so she isn't waking the whole apartment complex up at odd times. 11 p.m., 7 a.m., 3 p.m. Having a kid doesn't mean you get to be a noisy butthole. Keep ahead of the pain by giving the meds before it wears off. I used to give my daughter a banana popsicle to freeze the area. You're the asshole if your daughter is routinely waking people up at a decently soundproofed condo at 3 a.m., you're the asshole. There's got to be other measure you could use to keep the noise to a minimum. You're the asshole. Get ahead of the pain or time the pain meds properly. And go talk to the neighbors, you sanctimonious asshole let them know what's going on, and that it shouldn't be for much longer. You're the asshole give your child the medicine later in the evening. And maybe climb off your high horse, you aren't better than your neighbor. You're the asshole. You're the asshole you have to answer the doorbell. I know it's hard facing people who are mad at you, but you're responsible for the noise. Even if you can't prevent the crying, you still have to talk to your neighbor and apologize. Not the asshole. Baby's teeth. It's normal and everyone has to just do the best they can. The lady upstairs needs to get a grip. She knows what it is, she knows it's normal, healthy, etc. and has to adjust to communal living.